Hello, welcome to SoundBridge. This video will show you the latest features and changes for the 2.3.1 SoundBridge update. Before we dive into the video, please hit like, subscribe and click the notification bell. This way you'll be notified whenever we post more content to advance your knowledge further. Let's start with the preferences. We have reorganized what used to be the options tab in the preferences into subdivisions. Hopefully this will make it easier for everyone to find the exact setting they are looking for quickly. Now, the new ones, and starting with blocks, here's where you can find all the settings related to the blocks in the sequencer. In this plugin section, you'll find everything about plugin settings. We have the recording section with all the recording settings, which houses a new setting, discard last partial take, which I will show you in a few moments. We have the GUI section, here's where you will find all the previous GUI section settings plus some that were moved there from the earlier option sections like the floating widget switch and the restore widgets to default button right here. And we have the global section. So these are all global and they refer to the working of SoundBridge. Now that we have this out of the way, let me show you that discard last partial take setting in action. So I'm going to switch to a different project right here. I have set up a mono audio track. I'm going to record some audio, but in a loop. So I will start recording. As you may remember, recording audio in a loop causes the takes to be grouped into a take list. The changes we introduced is that when you stop recording, the last partial unfinished take is discarded. So you see that last partial take right there that just took up that much of the loop is discarded. If I move this entire block, you will see that the partial take does not exist. Now, if I go back into preferences, go into recording, and I disable this discard last partial take option, I will go back again, delete this, and I'll start recording again. So now you will see that no matter how many loop revolutions I record, once I stop in the middle, this last partial take is right there, you see? I can use it and I have my takes list as well. So that's the new switch explained. Let's go on. Now on the subject of recording, we've made some improvements with recording MIDI in a loop. As you might remember, when you recorded MIDI in a loop, you couldn't hear any of the previous takes while you're recording the next one. Now we've fixed that so you can hear all the takes that you recorded in previous you know, loop revolutions. Let's go through one such example. I've loaded Rhythmix with a nice factory default drum kit. I've disabled the sync host. I don't want the internal sequencer to play. So I can just close Rhythmix and I can start recording. I have my metronome on and you will notice that all the takes that have no MIDI data in them are just discarded. So I'll start with the kick drum first. Let's add a snare. Okay, and then some hi-hats. Maybe more hi-hats. And it's that easy. I'm just adding more and more elements on top and I'm just always hearing what was underneath. In the end, you have your MIDI file where you can see everything recorded together. This just makes it so much easier. Since we now are out of beta and you have the trial mode, if by some chance you were in trial as I am right now, so if I try to save right here, so file, save, I would get this dialog that I reached the track limit since the example project I have opened in the back has many more tracks than just 10 that I'm allowed to have. So I can't actually save a project that's bigger. So now you have a big project and you already done something to it. You changed the production or you recorded something more. So if you wanted to save, you would have to, you know, get a subscription or pay for SoundBridge. And the only way for the program to know that it's out of trial was for you to log out and log back in. Hence, you would lose all the changes you made well, right now, if you go to save, you get this additional button called validate. So if I click it, it's going to tell me that I'm still in trial. You can see that it says, please purchase a license. SoundBridge is still in trial mode. Now, if I go and purchase SoundBridge 
and my purchase is registered I can just come back here click validate and it will check and see that I'm out of trial and I will be able to save without logging out without closing Soundbridge and without losing all the changes I've made now it was really important to us that people that are in a transition never lose anything so we worked hard just to make this happen and make it easy for people to find this feature alongside with that this example project is now approximately three times smaller in size in megabytes so downloading a new version of soundbridge is not going to be as heavy for people who have slower internet or just find themselves connected to a slower internet at the moment when they're trying to update and the reason my example project opened just like this is that now the horizontal zoom is now saved with the project so if you save your project looking like this that's exactly how it's going to open alongside quite a few bugs that we also addressed we had some MIDI files that were incompatible to load we had some 32-bit float files creating problems so all of that was fixed alongside with that I wanted to show you the last feature we added and that is when you go into browsers all directories here one two and three their top level is going to be this so you have this computer desktop downloads it's gonna be much easier to navigate so wherever you are you can always go back 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 and the moment you go back all the way you get to this list so you can always get into your computer see all your drives uh, go into desktop downloads all the familiar folders it's much easier to navigate now well we hope you like the changes we've made don't forget to update soundbridge and enjoy the new features and bug fixes for more information on what exactly was changed you can find the release notes at soundbridge.io